Welcome back to the Beyond B Show. This is episode 13 or 14, and this is my first ever virtual e podcast. And with me, I have Brady. Uh, how are you doing today, Brady? Good, thank you, Ben. How about you? I'm doing well. Um, so today is going to be like a part two to the episode I did um, some time ago, and we're going to be asking some questions to each other about the current situation with the novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, also known as the global pandemic, also known as not good. So we have five questions today, and we're just going to get right into it. So the first one is going to be, like, compared to February, what is the same and different? What's the similar and different about our reactions to what is happening in the world currently? And Brady, you want to answer this question? Yeah, uh, thank you, Ben. Um, I remember in December when, like, I first started hearing about it. It's like these things were saying, like, two people in China were diagnosed with the plague. And I thought it was just, like, some random stuff that wasn't necessarily true. And then as January and February and now March and April came along, that it got so much bigger. And I'm like, wow. (laughs) It, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but when quarantine started in March, yeah, March. Yeah. It's been that long. Wow. March. Um, I definitely think it's different in the sense that I didn't think it would be going on this long. I thought it would be like a month or two. Yeah. I, I know what you're thinking. Um. Yeah. And I thought we would have been seeing more positives by now because it's still, there have been no signs of stopping. Uh, But yeah, that's, yeah, I thought it would have stopped by now and I didn't expect it to be this severe, like school closures and and everything kind of shut down. But yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I agree with a lot of those points. Like, I know a lot of places are supposed to hit their peak uh, in a couple of weeks, um, so that's a that's a positive. Um, I it's not guaranteed, but hopefully they hit their peak so that they can plateau and then eventually go down. Uh, definitely, I didn't think it was going to be the serious. I was like, oh, it's fine. We'll take care of it, and like just it's okay. Yeah. Just like the flu, and it's it not that many people die from the flu every year. Um, yeah, but like the the beginning of March, um, our family and like uh, we were like, so we like the schools may shut down for a week after spring break, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so long! Like, how could this happen? And then come spring break and post spring break, it's like, oh well, we're in this for the long haul now. But yeah, I. I totally was not expecting school closures and yeah. like month, two month, three month long quarantines. I did. One thing I did uh, think was like similar about February was like everyone, I knew everyone's, a lot of people's reactions are going to be like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, oh, it's only 700 people. It's only 800 people. It's only 1,000 people. And because diseases grow exponentially in terms of numbers, it's like one day it's 1,000. Then, oh my God, now it's two and a half million people across the globe that have this thing. And it's being yeah. growing every day. Yeah, That's- and another thing I totally was not expecting was the United States to be the the epicenter and like the hot spot. I yeah. like for the lo- like for since it became Italy and then now the U.S. I always thought it was going to be China because that's where it started. But allegedly, just- we don't know. The U.S. government could have created it. I'm just kidding. No, they didn't. Ben, if there was a comment section, you will be getting blasted. But there, there is no comment section. There is a so comment section gonna... on YouTube, but not Spotify. So I will, I'll get oh, yeah, blasted on right. YouTube. Yeah. So anyway, I thought it would, but China put like restrictions in relatively sooner, like not soon, but sooner than the rest of the countries. Yeah. Like when... China was in lockdown, Italy wasn't, so it jumped to Italy, and then when Italy was in lockdown, the U.S. wasn't, so it jumped to the U.S., and yeah, now it's here, and it's 
here to stay. Yeah, I, I, th- I feel like a lot of this could have been avoided if we everyone had taken precautions earlier. And yeah. everyone, like, I feel like everyone is going to be opening up everything too early because, like, oh, we need to save the economy. Because I, I, but personally, in my humble opinion, I don't think saving the economy is the most important thing because, you know, if this thing gets to every person on the planet, we might not have an economy just, like, at all. Yeah. So I well, feel like that's... Saving the human yeah. race is just a tad more important. Yeah, um, I think world leaders around the country could have done more because that's the whole thing, not just America or European countries or South American countries that put it like not. It's pretty much every. Well, yeah, a lot of countries kind of put it off saying everything was absolutely under control. Everything's fine. And that was obviously not the, the case. One thing I found hilarious was that the Belarusian president, the president of Belarus, he said, it, everyone needs to just start using tractors. They need to drink vodka and everything will be okay. <laughs> and this is yes. actually what he said. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, now we're here. I Now that like we've kind of been talking about this for a while, I don't think there is too much, like too many similarities. Um, to win this yeah because it's such a new experience (laughs) yeah such a new experience because especially because we had we weren't around for SARS or MERS um we we didn't get it like to I I think those were only epidemics and not pandemics so they weren't nearly on the scale that um we're at right now and the last major pandemic was in was it the Spanish flu or was there something else yeah I think it was so 1920 a hundred years ago how how convenient but um, yeah, that that's that's where we stand right now, and you know maybe everything will keep evolving, and our expect and our expectations and views will change as we get into May, June, July. Maybe everything will open up. Maybe it won't. Who knows? You know. Who knows? Yeah, things are being canceled into the summer, which is too bad. Cause yeah, I know the Fourth like of the July summer. parade that uh, where we live got canceled. I'm not gonna say where we live, but. Um, I know the 4th of July parade got canceled, which sucks because I really look forward to that parade every year. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to move on to the next question. Very smooth segue. So, what are your predictions for the future? About, of, of predictions this? for the future. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of the whole thing with this. Like, we, we're we kind of going, like, months, weeks, or even days at a time. Like, with every new bit of news that comes along, we kind of go from there. It's not like we know when it's going to stop because it's just been going up con- like without pause uh, f- since February. And, yeah, I, don't, I can't really predict when it's going to end. I hope a lot, like, sh- yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I hope that it's... Yeah, so I know this is obvious, but sooner than later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's preferable. Yeah, yeah. I do agree yeah. that it's hard to predict <laughs> because it's such a rapidly changing thing, and like yeah. every every single day, there's like new things. Like, oh, it was just till April seventh, and now it's till April thirtieth, and now it's till May third to thirtieth. Like, you can't really predict that these things are gonna happen because. At the, because yeah, as we said at the beginning, our like predictions were like, oh, it's gonna be fine. Like that's what we said in February. So yeah, they'll take care of it, just like in the movies. But now it's we're not in the movies, so it's they didn't take care of it. And it's yeah, and gonna be it could be even crazier uh, after April, or it could calm down a bit. Um, as many places are expected to hit their peak and plateau after that. But we'll have to see because you know. This is a very complex and changing situation every second. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Um, like, it, it. yeah, it is really hard to predict. But, yeah. About the economy, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I, I've checked and it's like, some days it's going up like 20% and different things. Maybe it's because of that stimulus patch- package that Congress passed. And maybe it'll mm-hmm. wear off. That's when it started going back up. Yeah, yeah. And it's some days it's going down like twenty percent. Like it's it's fluctuates, so it's also very hard to predict. But you know, maybe that stimulus package will have like a positive impact on it as a whole. But I think it's going to suffer for a bit. 
Yeah, but the whole thing um, about the package for like small businesses and how like large, huge businesses like uh, Potbelly and uh, Shake Shack and I forget the other one that, uh, but they like huge businesses were getting millions and millions of dollars for from this deal that was supposed to be for small businesses. And yeah, everybody's mad about that. Yeah. It's hard to predict. I mean, we'll just have to see what happens and then report it to everyone in a podcast later because podcasts are the best source of news. All right. Uh, So moving on to our third question. Do you think after a certain period of time, people that like have, have, have gotten laid off, like maybe if they're in a relationship, both them and their um, partner have gotten laid off and maybe they have kids so they can't support their family. Do you think people will riot or not? And why or why not? Um, no. Because that is irrational. But I know everybody has their irrational side. But like... Wh- like, I don't think it's like the movies where it's like, I, I don't have my food, I'm going to riot. Um, but, yeah, I think the the country is doing like a, I don't know how to say this. Like, it's not a bad enough, yeah, I'm not going to, I don't really know that much. Yeah, it's a bad, bad question to ask me because I'm not that cultured in this. I'm sorry. Personally, I just, discr- personally. I just discredited this whole podcast. Um, personally, uh, yeah. I think after a certain time, if you keep everyone locked up in their homes, people who are not as fortunate as other people are going to be like, screw this. I don't care if grandma down the street is potentially going to die. I need to have my job back. I need to have food because I need to be able to survive and support my family. So I believe at a certain point, not now, but like, in a couple of months, if this lockdown continues, I think that there might be some riots and some protests. Yeah, well, actually, uh, protests have been going on because people uh, think that um, this isn't like this lockdown thing shouldn't be implemented, and they they want to risk it, and they want to, I forget what it was, they want to go boating, they want to get their hair done, and they don't they don't think it's fair that everybody should be mandatory. Uh, it should be mandatory to be locked in their homes, but I don't think people will start riding because of food. I mean, at a certain point, you like need food to survive. Yeah, but there are, um, what are they called? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. All right. So <laughs> we have our second to last. Uh, oh wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, we don't. Um. We have our second to last question. That was correct the first time. How do you think this whole pandemic situation, this novel coronavirus global emergency will affect the 2020 U.S. presidential election, most likely between between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? Between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? Yes. Wait, where does it most likely come in? Because, you know, the... Um, Donald Trump is certain, and the dem- having the Democrats not nominated. Yeah, Joe, or- Joe Biden is the, the presidential nominee. Oh, he I is. Think. Oh, I don't. I don't oh, know. D- Bernie's gone. He didn't. He he's suspended. He suspended his campaign, but like he stood. The, yeah. Isn't he well, like still means- on the ballot? No, you have to. I think you have to unsuspend it. To suspending means like you. It basically most of the time suspending it means you you've dropped out, oh, and you're done. So and so in- so so we can almost certainly say Biden and Trump. How do you think yeah. this will affect the election of uh, Biden and Trump? Well, I will say that the reaction to this whole COVID thing has not been the best in the case of the president yeah like it yeah um it's the whole thing like putting it off in february and only only right like recognizing it and doing something about it until mid-march that 
of people, a lot of people after this um, are going to look back on it and be like, wait a minute, this is, yeah, this is, this shouldn't have happened. And that, that would potentially change a lot of people's minds and people that are affected by this financially and have lost their jobs and have lost, lost like a lot in this are going to start looking at somebody to take all the responsibility and like I wouldn't yeah rightfully so I guess because like yeah. he I I he should have been the one to kind of take like all of this head on uh I, in my opinion um and to start blaming other people and kind of saying it's not my fault is not the best way to handle it but yeah that's yeah yeah I I, I also think that like people are going to have their minds easily changed because like a lot of people, not, I don't think the majority of the country, but definitely millions of people have lost their jobs. So they're mm-hmm. going to be like, yeah. wow, Trump didn't do a good job of handling this. And that's why we're now the epicenter of this pandemic. So I, yeah. I don't even care if the other guy is good or not. I'll vote for the other guy because, you know, the, clearly the, clearly Trump can't handle um, a global pandemic or uh, handling yeah. it well. But, and, yeah, no. So right. I yeah no. In conclusion, this whole coronavirus thing has not been favorable at all to the president. Yeah. So I, I personally think it's going to be a pretty close thing because I've yeah. also noticed that th- doesn't Joe Biden have like dementia or something? Because like not that I, I know. I, I've heard he's like forgetting things like on stage or when he's at like uh, rallies he like says one thing and then later contradicts himself and like forgets everything he's at the age where like he can get dementia right he's like 70 yeah yes yeah, so does really. trump how old is trump how old is yeah. biden trump is 73 and biden is 77 huh so yeah, Biden's, think... getting, Biden's getting Biden's <laughs> getting age. Yeah, uh, I don't think uh, could potentially. I, just, I don't know if do it's not true. Not think Joe Biden has dementia. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I was gonna say. Oops. So oh, could... another oh. thing. Um, like a lot of people, and like health experts and the, like parts of the World Health Organization. Um, had kind of been like saying that a pandemic like this would have like it's gonna happen like something like this is gonna happen like Bill Gates in 2019 was saying like this is gonna happen we're not prepared and then I think I saw something are. like that yeah so it's kind of should not... listen to Bill always gotta yeah. listen to Bill mm-hmm. yep all it's, right and so I think it's kind oh. of just the unpreparedness of every every country that's kind of that's kind of uh the reason plus a lot of things yeah you know there's yes. a lot of reasons yes we're gonna look up back on this and be like remember the coronavirus yeah Hopefully. and that and that, and that is actually not. a nice segue into our last question which is how oh, will God. this pandemic affect our understanding of pandemics for the future because we will inevitably have one later in the future how do, how yeah do you- um well, it, well, yeah, it's definitely a wake-up call to countries around the world because this definitely shows that we were way not prepared. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, so this is going to hopefully lead to more research and funding and everything good yeah. that prevents like historic, pandemics. You know? Historically, like, you know, history repeats itself. So hopefully, like, we won't have history repeat itself and – Hopefully we'll be able to be more prepared next time that something like this happens and not just be like, it's fine. It's like only a 10, it's only 10 people. Oh, it's only a hundred people. Oh, it's only two and a half million people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this is uh, just a bonus question, you know, do you, do you you think everyone is going to get it? No. No. That's why we have social distancing, Ben. But All when right. people riot on the streets because they want their to ride their boats and they want to get their hair done, 
then yes, those people will get coronavirus. Makes sense. And all Social the teens, distance. all the teens going on spring break yeah. <laughs> to the beach, hanging out together, mm-hmm. waking up sick. Oh, yeah, that was that's a while ago. Yeah, but, but yeah, no, just stay in your house, wear your seatbelt. Actually, don't wear your seatbelt. Don't wear your don't seatbelt because you're not going anywhere. <laughs> wear your seatbelt in on your the house. Couch. So. Yeah, on the on couch. The couch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that house. that is that is all the questions we have. I, I hope I hope everyone enjoyed this podcast, Brady. Uh, did you enjoy this? This I enjoyed it. Yeah, good. it was very. It was it was fun. Good. I I certainly enjoyed this. Um, I hope everyone uh, enjoys enjoyed the podcast. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm. Uh, I have. I have. <laughs> I have a new music video. If you want to go check it out, it's on my uh, Beyond B Music channel. The same channel. What's but it called? It, it's called. It's called Period. It's oh yeah yeah the, I mark. saw that one yeah 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 yep. um so just just little announcement if you want to check it out and um yeah that's pretty much it I'm releasing some more music soon I hope you'll enjoy hope you have a good day stay safe wash your hands don't get corona and we wear your seatbelt you. on your couch yeah wear your seatbelt mm-hmm. on your couch and we will see you later goodbye.